Hello there. Want a baked potato? Welcome to Sir Valley. I've decided that's what it's called now because it's a valley in Savannah. And today we are building, well, the well right over here because I find this little place here quite idyllic beneath the acacia canopies over a little bit secluded, which isn't the most practical, especially considering the greenhouse is way over there. But, you know, worlds aren't always so located the most um, practically. We've already set up shop over here as well, a little bit hidden away so it doesn't obstruct the, the pretty place here. And we're gonna plonk the well right in the middle of here. And uh, it's a design by, I'm gonna put the name on the screen because I forgot. Um, I found the design quite, quite, quite lovely and fitting for this. Uh, it's not too big or too small either. And most importantly, you can uh, also walk inside. Uh, it's, it's enough space for a player to fit through because there's gonna be secrets. There's gonna be a secret cave underneath. Because of course, it's a well. Have you ever played a video game? Of course there's secrets underneath the well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that today, and we're just gonna jump right in. Yeah. And just like that, it's done. Look, it's a well. I think it turned out pretty well. <laughs> so this is It's Malu's design. And the only thing I tweaked uh, of the actual well design is uh, this block here, which I switched with a dispenser because I felt like that makes a little bit more sense maybe. Uh, because like usually you have um, a thing to, to turn up there to raise and lower uh, the bucket, or in this case, an entire cauldron. And since that would be a little bit too high with this design, because we want to be able to enter and such, uh, we have it loop back around down here, the chain, and then I have it just enter a dispenser. So you can imagine this to be the, uh, the thing that you turn. And then inside there's maybe another coil where the chain can coil around. That's kind of the idea behind it. And look, it just fits so well. <laughs> that's, that's quite satisfying how, how, how much it actually looks like it's going in there. Of course, the cauldron is filled with water. And uh, then we can drop down here into the, the secret well cave. And in here we have uh, lots, of, lots of greenery, of course, the, the pretty particles from the how are they called again? The, the spore blossom plants? I don't know. The, those things. They're very pretty. And uh, we have the vines, which I <laughs> I try to not have them take over everything, but I feel like uh, this might just cover up everything. I, I, might, I might have to tweak those a little bit. I keep forgetting just how much vines actually spread. That's fine though. We can deal with that. I can figure that out. And uh, I like them over here. And then we have some pottery in here because uh, I don't know why uh, there would be pottery in a well, but that's like a video game thing. And I figured it, uh, it would fit well in here. So you can break these and you get a strange key. Hmm, what might that be for? Well, I guess you'll have to see that rhymed, rhymed not intended, in the next episode, because we're gonna be building some more things. This is a lot of fun. I am experimenting with the new flashback mod, if you couldn't tell. Uh, and I've been wanting to do some more cinematic and uh, maybe even some storytelling shots uh, lately in Minecraft. So uh, yeah, there's more to come eventually. I am very bad with schedules, so eventually. I will not promise a specific time. 
Also, look how cool that looks if you just look in there. Of course, I tried to uh, have like this part be the light part where the light shines in, and then you have all the plants trying to grow up to the light. And then as you transition away from that, it gets darker and darker, and then you have the the rooted rooted mud here and such. If you, maybe you could tell in the in the time lapse, uh, it was a little bit difficult to try and get the gradient perfect. Uh, I think it turned out quite nice. I, I included the basalt. Um, originally, I didn't mean I, I did not think of basalt in this gradient, but when I saw that the transition to the mud was so harsh, I experimented a little bit and I picked the tough and the basalt. And I think the basalt was really important here. So I'm very glad with how that worked out. And I have the tough also with the slight greenish tint to transition into the uh, mossy cobblestone. Like you can see it over here and over here and uh, over there too. And then I have the um, the glow glow lichen, is that what it's called? Uh, the glow lichen uh, over here and, and such in the darker areas, just so the creepers and such don't spawn here. Oh, yeah, zero. Uh, a creeper can spawn here. Uh, so I might need to put something there. I don't currently have anything that can give light. This is a little bit of a dangerous spot. Maybe the vine can cover that and nothing can spawn there. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, so this is... Oh, it's sunset. The sun is setting. How fitting. Uh, this is the well uh, with the secret cave. I still really enjoy how this looks, like just underneath the the canopy of the of the trees, and also the kind of the kind of the feel when you walk up here. You you have to know that the well is there, of course. But well, I guess if you just follow the path, it actually does reveal itself. Just the transition from it being hidden behind this hill and the grass, and then when you hop over it, then it reveals itself. It kind of looks a little bit uh, mystical just sitting here alone. Uh, and then, of course, there is the actual secret cave in there. So I love that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and maybe subscribe as well. And I will see you. Oh, I'm having trouble with inverted controls. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.